Welcome to Clinical Yoga. This is the Crawford number two. So we'll start as usual with the palms facing upward as long as you can in the spine. The chin draws back so you feel muscles in the upper back working, maybe a little bit in the lower back too, and maybe in the front of the hips. The knees are going to slightly rise. We turn the palms up and we close the eyes and just take some gentle breaths into the belly. shoulders settle, feeling the upper back working. Let's take the right hand down and reaching long out of the left waist, keeping the chest slightly lifted, pushing back a little bit with the hand on the mat and to the other side. So hand down and pushing back, reaching with the other arm and then bringing that arm down. Let's take the left hand on the right knee the right hand is behind, the fingers press down, the arm straightens, and the left shoulder pulls back. Right shoulder pulls back. And then we come to the other side. So this time you feel the muscles around the left shoulder pulling back. We turn the head a little, feel the belly getting involved with the twist. Long breaths. And then let's come to the center. And just letting the back drop down and the head drop down, so you round in the back, and then hands on the knees. We just pull slightly on the knees and the lower back comes forward. So let's do that one more time. So we let the back drop down and the head comes down, the arms stay straight, and then the lower back comes forward and the shoulders drop down. And then we're going to, with a flat back as much as you can, so you feel the stretch around the hips, take the weight forward, and then take the hands forward as you bow down, taking a deep stretch in the back. So long breaths, it doesn't matter if you can only just come to here, just bowing the head and letting go if you can. And then breathe into the stretch in the lower back. Taking some breaths. Let's walk the hands back and come onto the hands and knees. So the palms are open on the mat, really stretching them. Let's round up in the back, head down. And then inhale, the back drops down, the shoulders away from the ears. And underneath you, the belly pulls in even though the back is arched downwards. Let's round up again, head down, push the mat away. And again, inhale, the back drops down, shoulders away from the ears. And then let's push the hips back onto the heels and feel the arms really reaching away. You're trying to feel again, maybe a stretch in the lower back, maybe a stretch in the thighs, reaching the fingers away. Long breaths. Okay, let's come up, tuck the toes under and take a plank. And then from here, letting the knees bend, we push back into downward dog. So you're straight between the hands and the sit bones. Don't worry if the knees are bent. And then we'll slowly start to drive the knees back trying not to let it bring us forward. So push back and then use the muscles in the thighs to try and stretch the back of the legs. So the muscle on the front of the thigh tries to straighten the knee and we get a nice pull in the back of the legs. All right, let's start to 
Tiptoe forwards now. So go as far as you can and then the hands can always come back. And with the knees generously bent, replace the belly on the thigh, hold the elbows and let the head drop down. And then slowly uncurl. Great. Okay, so we're going to take one sun salutation. So we'll step a little closer to the front of the mat. The balls of the feet together, the heels slightly apart, and we inhale. Soften the knees. So the knees can bend as much as you need to. You try to come down with a flat back, but then the body rounds, so we stretch the back a little bit and the head comes down. Then we get the feeling that we're just about to dive into a pool. So the back flattens, and there's a big stretch in the back of the legs, maybe in the bottom area as well, but the back feels strong and flat. Then we put the hands down and we step back into plank. We're going to put the knees down and slowly lower, or you can just lower from plank. And then the feet turn, so the top of the foot is on the mat, and we just pull the hands back and use the muscles of the upper back to lift us up. So trying to feel it right across the top of the back, taking a couple of breaths, and then let the head come back down, push hard into the hands, tuck the toes under, and let's push back into downward dog. So a nice long stretch again in the back of the legs. Now we're going to make the back of the leg stretch a little bit more by lifting the right leg. So as high as you can, you're going to feel a huge pressure in the back of the left leg. You're going to push back as hard as you can. Nice long breaths. This knee, you're going to try to straighten it, but not completely. You're trying to keep the back flat. And then we'll put the foot down. Let's try the other side. So lifting up, keep the right knee slightly bent as you lift the left. And a huge stretch and work in the back of the right thigh. Take a couple of breaths and then let's put the foot down, take the knees down, put the hips back and take child's pose. So giving yourself a moment now after that big stretch. Let's tuck the toes under again, push back into downward dog. And we're going to look between the hands and tiptoe or take as big a stride as you can. Maybe tiptoe the rest of the way, maybe the hands come back. Let's get that half lift again. So we flatten the back and the knees bend. So we feel we can straighten the back. And then we tip forward and let the back take a stretch. And then bending the knees, coming up with a nice flat back and taking the arms up high. Great. Okay, let's step back with the right foot. So right foot's going to two o'clock, not too far, but you're going to feel pressure in the lower back. So right foot at about two, left foot at 12, feet hip distance apart. Let's push the right heel down and rise in the arms. So your tummy's drawing in, your heel's pushing down, and you feel yourself slightly tip forward. Do not lean into the lower back. So a nice lift up. And then we'll take the arms down. Let's draw the shoulder blades together, lift the chest. And we're going to fold up the hip. So a nice, long, straight back. Feet are strong and pushing into the mat. And then just see if you can bow the head, keeping the back long and straight. And then coming up slowly with the straight back. Great. And let's step forward with the right and back with the left. So left is now at 10 o'clock, right is at 12. Hips are square with the front of the mat. We push the left heel down and lifting up in the arm. So you feel a lift in the chest. You can bend that right knee, huge stretch in the calf at the back. Maybe a bit of stretch in the front of the left hip. Let's take the hands down. The 
Again, we flatten the back now, draw the shoulder blades together. We're trying to fire up the upper back and then bending deep into this hip. So huge stretch down the back of the right leg and in the right arm, long body, drop the head. hard into the feet as you come up with a nice flat back. Great. And let's step forward. So we're going to take one more sun salutation. Inhale. All the way to the top, bottom tucks under slightly, soften the knees, chest stays high, let the knees bend as much as you like as you take a bit of a stretch in the lower back and the head comes down. Then inhale. The back's nice and flat. Then we take the hands down, going to step back into plank. So if you can lower from here, the elbows go back towards the hips and we lower to the mat. And then the feet turn over, the hands draw back, shoulders draw together, and we feel the muscles in the upper back working, also in the lower back, but feeling that you're not pushing into the lower back with the arms. Just use the muscles in the back and then let's push hard up. Tuck the toes under, back into downward dog. Okay, so big breaths. We're gonna try the leg lifting again, very powerful. So the left knee is slightly bent and we lift the right one as high as you can manage. Try not to let that hip drop down Keep, it power, keep the pelvis parallel with the floor. It's a huge amount of work in the shoulders and the legs. And then we take the foot down and we lift the left side. So hold and breathe, shoulders broad. Breathe. And then let's use that left leg to step forward as far as you can manage. Then tiptoe the rest of the way, maybe you're bringing the hands back. Let's inhale, flat back, bend the knees. Then we tip forward, so you're resting the belly on the thighs, so you're supporting the back, but still giving it a stretch. And then we're going to come up with a nice straight back. Okay, so we'll take our warrior two. So left foot forward, right foot across the mat. So the right foot is parallel with the short edge, left with the long edge, and we take the arms nice and long. So you can look down your left arm, drawing in the belly, a nice long breath. Turn towards the left thigh, bend at the hip, put the forearm on the knee and reach the right arm as long as you can. So you're getting that push with the right foot, reach with the right arm. Nice long breaths, breathe. Okay, we're going to try a rotation. So the right hand is going to come down on the fingertips. Then you get the feeling that the body flattens, a huge stretch in the left hip. The back stays nice and flat. We turn the left shoulder back and try and bring up the left arm. So again, big breaths, a huge amount of work in the left leg. And then when you're ready, put your hand on your left knee. Hold the belly in, flatten the back and push hard to come up. So let's take it on the other side. So the right foot's going down the mat now, parallel with the long edge, left parallel with the short edge, arms are long and straight, the knee opens, and we look down the right arm. So let's take a few breaths. towards the right thigh, bend here at the hip and put the right forearm on the knee and reach the left arm long and straight. So 
tucking the tailbone down, reaching the arm, long breaths. down and we take the weight forward and flatten the back huge stretch in that right hip and then the arm opens up and we turn the chest so we're trying to get the stretch in the hips the back should feel safe long and straight so a huge amount of work in that right leg breathe right hand on the knee, flatten the back, hold in the belly, maybe use that arm a little bit and come up. We're going to turn the right toes in. So now both toes are slightly turned in, a little bit pigeon toe, and we're going to bend at the hip. So being careful not to bend at the waist in the back, we're going to bend at the hip. So you bend your knees and stick your bottom out, then the fingertips can come down. So as you squeeze the knees back, in other words, try and straighten the legs a little bit, you'll get more pull on the inner thigh and the back of the legs. We're trying to stop the back from rounding. We're trying to flatten the back in order to get the stretch between the legs and in the back of the legs. And breathe into it. You need to stay with this one a little bit. You can come down a little bit more if you can. Then you can lift the chest, bow again. Maybe feeling a little bit of stretch in the back if you wish. And then lift up again, feel a little bit more stretch on the inner thighs and the back of the legs. And then we're going to turn the heels in slightly and really bend the knees and come up with a nice flat back. So let's bring the legs together. We're going to go down onto the mat, but we're going to go through a half a sun salutation. So inhale, soft knees, exhale. So the back is flat, the pull is in the back of the legs, and then the back rounds a little bit. So you get a stretch that's supported by the legs. Then inhale. Flatten the back again, feel the stretch in the back of the legs. Let's put the hands down, go back into plank. If you can, we're going to lower. And then drawing the shoulder blades back and down. So this is all about the upper back. And then drop the head, push hard and come into child's pose. So you're trying to bring the knees together if you can and then the back will round, or if you need to put them a little bit apart, that's fine. Just some nice long breaths. And then we're going to come up onto the knees into high kneeling. Important to get that little tuck in the bottom here so that the front of the thigh takes a stretch. So the bottom sticks out and then we're going to try and tuck under you, tuck the tailbone down and that brings a stretch in the front of the hips. You're not pushing the hips forward, that's just going to go into the lower back. So you must tilt the pelvis just like you do in a sort of bridge position. You want to tuck under. Let's bring the hands to prayer. We're going to take the right foot forward. Have the shin sloping away from you. And then we sink down and we take the arms up to the ceiling. So I want you to reach up as you've taken your waist a little bit more into that right foot. Now we don't lean back. It's not a let go. It's a reaching up. You've got to hold your tummy strong. Feel the upper back working. Breathe. And then when you're ready, Bring the fingertips down. So now the back is rounded. We're going to flatten the back, lift the chest, and feel a huge stretch under the right thigh and in the front of the left. So as flat as you can be, you're on the fingertips, and just breathe into those stretches. 
Maybe it's all around this hip as well. We're trying to get the hips as mobile as we can and then the back can stay nice and straight. slightly away. We're going to take the weight forward a little so that that shin becomes more vertical and then without leaning back we're going straight up with the arms. You're trying to reach to the ceiling, you're trying to hold the belly in, you're trying to find the upper back. Nice long breaths. Huge amount of work here as you try and reach. The strength is in the front of the body and the upper back and then the hands can come down again we put the fingertips down the back is now rounded so we're going to take the hips forward creating a huge stretch in the front of the right thigh and the underneath of the left so you're trying to get the back completely straight you can hold your tummy in as you feel yourself almost trying to lift the breastbone up and forward Nice long breaths. Okay, let's bring the knee back. And we're going to come on to the back of the body. So Knees are bent, let's lower down slowly. Okay, we're going to bend the knees up, put the arms alongside, palms flat, draw the shoulder blades together, and we're going to take a bridge. So first of all, we flatten the lower back, and then we squeeze the bottom to lift the hips. So all the work is in the bottom, back of the thighs, you'll feel a stretch in the front of the thigh. So making sure it's the bottom doing the work and that the bottom isn't down and the back doing all the work. So if I let my bottom relax, then the lower back works too hard. So we want to use the bottom muscles to really lift up. You're going to feel a pull in the back of the legs. You can drop the chin down. And nice long breaths. Squeeze, stretch the front of the thighs, and then you let the back roll down. We're going to bring the knees over the chest now. So hold the knees and bring your nose between the knees as much as you can. So curl, it's going to take quite a lot of work in the abdominals. You're really rounding the back. You can roll side to side, rock side to side, just to ease out the lower back. Great. And then we relax away, put the arms into a V shape. So they're about 45 degrees from the vertical, 45 degrees from the horizontal. That's the perfect position to stretch the chest. So now we can put the feet down and take the knees to the right. That means the left hip is going to rise up. You're going to feel a stretch from the outside of that knee, all the way up the body, even into the hand. So put your right hand on the outside of your left knee if you can, and leave the left shoulder down. Long breaths. back up, put the right arm into the V-shape now and take the knees to the left. So the right hip comes up, you can hold the outside of the right knee with your left hand if you can, it just increases the stretch, so just be careful with that, not too strong. Just 
you just feel it around the muscles around the waist and the outer thigh, not in the back. to take Shavasana, corpse pose. So you may want to bolster behind your knees if you'd rather have your back a little bit more relaxed. So if that's how you normally have your legs when you're lying on your back, then, then do that. So, or the legs are out straight. So either over bolster or out straight. The palms are going to face the ceiling. And we're going to really let go. So I'll talk you through the relaxation and then I'm going to leave you in the relaxation so the film will end before you have to get up. So just stay for as long as you can, at least five minutes. So let's bring the attention to the legs. Just really be aware of them letting go. are becoming heavy, so from the waist down now, just leave them behind. Bring the attention to the weight of the body on the mat, so behind the shoulders, the chest, the back, all heavy. And then come down through the arms, just feeling them melting onto the mat. Being aware of how the fingers curl. So from the neck down, just leave the body behind. Let the jaw drop back and the muscles in the face just give. And then focusing between the eyes, see if you can just follow a few breaths. Just in your belly now, so the chest is moving, just a slow fall and rise. And then notice how your mind wanders again. And then when you realise it's drifted away through many thoughts, just bring it back, let go. And just try and follow a few more breaths. back to the body. Take a big breath into the belly. And then a big breath in. 
arms to the chest. And then bring it just back into the belly. That's the calm breath that you use at any time. And we're going to bend the knee up at the top. Hold on to your right side. And we're going to bring that knee to the ceiling. Sitting tall, drawing back the chin. Let's take an inhale. 